All right, guys, first anniversary is almost here, and Netmarble just dropped their July event calendar. So in today's video, we are pretty much going to check out the July event calendar, to see what's going to take place on July. So let's not waste any time, and let's go ahead and hop right into the video. All right, so we take a look at the July event calendar. So for July 3rd, we are going to have a new SSR character, um, Varagarv. I think that's his name. I don't know how to say his name, but his name is Varagarv. And this guy looks sick. I'm not gonna lie, he looks really, really cool. Um, there's also going to be a boost event mission. Um, we are going to have the check-in event, and we also have a new event boss battle, Kun Ron. And then when we continue, it says Child of Chaos Origin Floor 850 Expansion, a Tower of Alliances Season 4, and it says events begin formation selection arena. So it seems like for the July 3rd update, we are only going to get um, an SSR character, we are not going to get an SSR plus unit. And then for July 17th, it's going to be first anniversary part one. So it seems like um, the anniversary for Top Gun New World is going to be split up in two different updates. So I was technically correct when I said that uh, anniversary is going to last from like, I think July 17th to August, I think. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a very, um, it's going to be the longest update. So therefore, therefore they're pretty, pretty much going to split it up in two parts. So for part one, it says first anniversary, the vacation festival kicks off. Uh, first anniversary vacation story event. We have the heart hunting vacation, event exchange shop and event missions. And then we have the new SSR plus teammate, which is going to be Yiwa Yeon healing flame. And then we also have the new SSR character, which is going to be um, in Dorsey. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to say swimsuit in Dorsey. That's what I'm going to say, bikini in Dorsey. And then we're also going to have four new brand new costumes. So I'm pretty sure these four brand new costumes are going to be, it's going to be in Dorsey, uh, the Yiwa, not the Yiwa skin, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Kaiser. Uh, it's also going to be uh, Datamashini and Shalil's twin sister. And then it says first anniversary pre-registration reward SSR plus healing flame Yiwa. Just let you guys know if you didn't watch my first anniversary video, um, we are going to get a free SSR plus unit, which is going to be healing flame Yiwa. If you pre-register, you are going to get a free copy of her. So make sure that you guys pre-register. And then we continue says SSR revolution expansion. So we are finally going to get phase two for the SSR characters in, in their own revolution, which is really, really good. So this is essentially a major buff to pretty much every single SSR unit in the game. So this is actually going to be very insane. And it says new PVP content season one. So I don't know what this means, but what they mean by new PVP content, like are we going to get something else completely different than us just going against? I mean, we are going to go against other players, but I wonder what this is all like, what this is going to be about the fact that they say new PVP content. And the fact that it says season one, this is definitely going to be some sort of seasonal content. So it won't be available, you know, permanently in the game. It's just going to be available uh, in different seasons. Uh, we also have first anniversary special boss, uh, this guy right here. And then uh, adventure floors 86 through 90 is added. And then Alliance Expedition event season 10. So, hey, anniversary is looking pretty good. We have a lot of things going on here. We have the SSR Revolution expansion, new PVP content. A lot of good stuff happening and then we continue to july 24th it says new event boss shalil i'm not gonna lie this skin looks really really good her skin looks absolutely amazing to all like the art for uh shalil looks really good and it says loop bonus time and then we also have first and second parts joint events so first anniversary reward festival a first non-stop summon check-in now this right here, I think what they mean by non-stop is you can basically have like infinite re-rolls where like you can pick and choose which characters you want. I don't know. They're not really telling us much about the non-stop summons. So we're just going to have to wait and see what this is all about. But we're going to have like a first non-stop summon check-in. And as you guys can see, we have a different summon tickets, like first anniversary summon tickets. And then it says first anniversary big suspendum festival. And then invite a friend event. We already know about that. And then the Shining Revolution Fragment Ranking Race. And then for July 31st, this is going to be first anniversary part two. It says new SSR teammate, plus, new SSR plus teammate joins. And it says new teammate trial event. So we are going to have another SSR plus character 
on July 31st. And it says main story uh, act nine. So brand new act. And then we have three new costumes. And then uh, we have first anniversary festival part two, special festival check-in and festival boss battle. We have a new mini game, Tower of Alliances season five and Trials of Chaos origin or 900 expansion. So it seems like we're going to have seven brand new skins in total, which is going to be insane. And I'm, I think the data imagining skin is going to be available on July 31st because they're showing her right here. And then for um, July or July 17th, we're going to have um, the Kaiser skin uh, and all these other skins. So looking good, looking really, really good so far. What I'm mostly excited about is the SSR Revolution expansion, the new PvP content, and of course, the nonstop summons. Now, when it comes to the SSR Plus teammate in July 31st, I think I know exactly who it is. So when we take a look at the trailer, as you guys can see, we have the SSR Plus uh, Yiwa that we are going to get for free on July 17th. But when we continue even further, there's like one more character that is brand new. So we're just going to let this play through. And this is the character right here. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the SSR Plus teammate we are going to have on July 31st in Anniversary Part 2. Um, I, it literally has like the silhouette looks exactly like her so i'm pretty sure this is going to be the next ssr plus character now my only concern about this is we don't really see a new ssr character for july 31st and for july 24th for july 17th we are going to have a brand new um endorsey character but after july 17th we're not going to get a new SSR character. So I'm wondering where is Shalil's twin sister? Like, are we not going to get her for anniversary? Like what is going on here? So that is my only concern with this is we don't, we're not going to have an SSR unit for first anniversary part two. Maybe we are, but they didn't even, they didn't really include that. Um, and the uh, July 31st and first anniversary part two, it seems like we're only going to get an SSR plus character and that's literally it so hopefully you know hopefully they give us an SSR character for first anniversary part two because if we're not going to get that I'm not going to lie I'm going to be disappointed because everyone is literally waiting for Shalil's twin sister and it's taking them a long time to implement that character in the game so this is pretty much you know a perfect opportunity for them to implement her in first anniversary plus they showed her in the trailer so there's really no reason for them to not release her on july 31st like for july i think for july 3rd we are going to have an ssr character right here of uh, vargar uh, vargar bro it's really hard to say this guy's name i'm just going to say vara we're going to get this guy on july 3rd and in july 17th we're going to have the ssr plus character uh yiwa and then and dorsey but then for july 24th we're pretty much getting no ssr here and then for July 31st, no SSR. So I don't know what they're trying to do here, but hopefully they implement Shalil's twin sister on July 31st. So that's pretty much all we have for the July event calendar. It looks really, really packed. And yeah, anniversary is getting closer and closer. I'm very excited to see what Netmarble is cooking. But so far, everything is looking good. We are getting a free SSR plus unit and you know we're getting a lot of good things we have new pvp content brand new events things are looking good so far so tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below i'll be in the video at that make sure i hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate it i'll be catch you guys on the next one peace